on the promises of God my Savior standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises that cannot fail. When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail, by the living word of God I shall prevail. Standing on the promises of God, standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises of Christ the Lord. To him eternally by love's strong cord, overcoming daily with the Spirit's sword, standing on the promises of God, standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing. Back to you. 
Nobody's a perfect candidate. Yeah, well, yeah, well, uh, okay. But I think the only one that can really be history is yeah. No, God can be so. The only one here is who? Is who? No crossword puzzles. Trump is not safe. How are you doing? He's, Trump says, Trump's own words, Trump's own words. I've never had to ask God for forgiveness. He's never said a thing. He's, he's the best candidate on this side.
shadowy bureaucrats there working in the shadows and changing everybody's they you're, you're getting ways of raising taxes they're diverting money from programs that it was started to to their own other programs uh, it's just unbelievable and skip is one of the guys is standing up against that alone he's always outnumbered he's one of those people but most people are like well, that's not my problem why care well you know I really hope the people that don't that don't get involved I hope I hope it hurts them I really do I really do they won't they won't stand up they will uh, and so anyhow stand up he gave an excellent now judge Grindel was out there but he <coughs> Uh, didn't have time to, to speak. He, you know, you, you have to be able to come in and, and wait till your turn comes up. And he wasn't able to wait till his turn come up, so he uh, he left. But he wants to do some things on the radio with us. But it was it was an excellent presentation there. And then Jan Porter, like always, is vibrant as she is and energizing. Uh, she really uh, was energizing the people there. Did a tremendous job. So the whole the whole day. Really went very, very well. It really did. Then we had some others. We had a former U.S. Attorney General uh, who was there. He was a uh, public defender, a federal public defender. Then he's an Attorney General. Uh, he came, <coughs> Greg Sasse, and he he spoke, and he was uh, gave a very, very interesting uh, in the little time he had presentation because he wasn't a scheduled speaker. Anyhow, it was very good. We praise the good Lord. We raised a lot of money, which we need. We need to buy a lot of literature for, uh, especially this Planned Parenthood thing that, that really has been effective over there on Bedford Heights. We've just saturated that neighborhood, you know, because uh, you have the apartments live next by, and all the people are walking up and down. Uh, we given them like Anthony, Big Anthony. He was taking all of our literature into the apartments. And placing it in there, you know, where, uh, you know, they, of course, their main business is killing black babies. And that's just about all the population of black people. We used to have a lot of trouble from the, from the neighbors down there, that, you know, early on. Yeah, but not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. No, and they want Planned Parenthood out there now. The more that they find out about it, and we help them to find out about it. And then you had uh, a free term. Great term. What happened? Uh, last Saturday, a woman went out in an ambulance. Uh, I'm hearing this second and third hands. So don't don't have the whole story yet. Um, but a woman went out. The information's been passed to uh, Operation Rescue in Wichita. They're investigating it. Uh, yesterday, uh, Julie Jordan, uh, uh, she's in charge of the uh, Rosary, Rosary for Life Catholics. Uh, pray for her. You know. Her faith is totally and completely in Mary. She said to the, uh, uh, she said to one of the uh, uh, desk force yesterday that that the woman died. Uh, so we we don't know for sure yet, but this would be a second one. Um, not sure who the abortionists were are on Saturdays. Uh, Mitchell Ryder is one of them, and uh, uh, someone said uh, rest. I mean, uh, you know, uh, there, there was probably another one there also. Mm. But uh, uh, Ryder's there on Fridays and Saturdays. Mm. So uh, we, there, there may be another death at preterm. And of course, they'll get away with it again, like they did with the Keisha Wilson. Nobody ever got charged with anything. Oh, but they got a lot of bad publicity. And Denver's, Denver's on that, too. He's a... Uh, well, yeah, I'm, sure he, knows, yeah I'm sure he knows about it. So uh, we should find something. Hopefully, we'll find out something this week. And I'm in Ohio State tomorrow, so... Um, so we'll see, we'll see what we'll see what you know how they react to their uh, protest to uh, Black Lives Matter because that's part of why we're voting out there. I did get video of the speakers yesterday, and uh, I'm in the process of uh, getting them uploaded to YouTube. So they'll be on YouTube and Chrome and um, G Plus as well as Facebook through my efforts. But uh, well, some other really good news too is. Matt Lynch is now leading Dave Joyce in the polls. Out Amen. The last, the last election, they outspent Matt <coughs> ten to one for every one dollar Matt could spend. They outspent him ten to one. But uh, you know, we we really got to get to work on this. If you don't have one of Matt's signs in your area, grab one today. Take it out. We haven't been able to get them out because the ground's been frozen. But. Uh, Take one of those signs and, and get them out out there. We really need to get working on 
end of, end of. So Jan Porter right now is, she's pulling actually even with her opponent. So that's good news. The problem with it is she doesn't have nearly the money. The Republican Party, just like with Matt, the Republican Party won't give Matt a dime. That's why I won't give the Republican Party a dime anymore. The money goes right to the candidates. <laughs> And they won't give um, they won't give Janet a dime either. So she's working hard. Okay, a couple of things. We have that the statement I made before the House Committee on HR 286. I did not realize that, but that got picked up, I guess, by the A.M.P. I've been hearing from people that went on the national news. My statement there. In the, uh, so you know that was uh, <laughs> it was a good statement there. Amen. And. Uh, so, anyhow, yeah, if anybody wanted to read it, I have it up here. And then we need to, uh, something to keep in prayer. We got a termination of volunteer privileges on Kevin from death row, okay? And uh, because, because he's been checking, you, you talk about doing a terrible thing, folks. He's been sending these guys that are starving to death there food packages. Okay? Oh, nice. oh, no. So I'm going to be on the telephone, I think, tomorrow, and I'm, I'm just going to tell them, because I know the people there, Amy, I said, you know, Amy, I just hope this doesn't get out as a story that, that <laughs> Kevin's being persecuted because he bought food packages for guys here who have maggots in their rice and don't have any food. The food is pretty bad. Okay? So anyhow, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call him tomorrow and, and talk to him and find out. It's too bad. Too bad I wasn't taking drugs in or <laughs> sex ring or you know, you know a hero. drone and flying stuff over the prison yeah. wall. And stuff. You see where his head's at? Yeah. <laughs> as long as long as they got their cut of the of the profits, they, they, then then they wouldn't have cared. Yeah, um, yeah that's about they it. Don't get, they don't get a cut of the of the profits when, when you when you buy the food package. No, between Access Union Supply and Walking Horse, there's three places where you could order food and sundry boxes. They get a cut of it. Oh Wait. yeah, you're, you're, but it's not a big enough cut. In JPay, it's yeah, uh, that's what it was. Well, the thing of it is, is none of us guys like this. If Kevin gets uh, terminated, we're not we're not going to take it very nicely. None of us. Amen. I'm going to let him know um, because you know it's uh. You, if you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. That's the way we do things here. And Kevin is a very, very, I depend a lot upon him, uh, you know, in that, in that prison ministry. He's very vital. No, you can't tell by looking at him. <laughs> he does a lot. I can't tell by looking at him. Do you see fine? Oh, my. It's a good thing we just don't take this all that serious, you know. Yeah. Take it serious enough. Serious enough. Some other good things out there at the Cortland Church that seems to be growing out there. We seem to be getting new people all the time. And uh, like I said, we finally had to let that woman who played the piano go. But, uh, uh, anyhow, we want we want to praise the good Lord. Now, up there this week we're having a uh, a church cleanup on Wednesday. So. Uh, we're going to be out there, folks are going to come out and scrub it and get it ready for Saturday because Saturday we're having that knee slapping, foot uh, stomping, gospel uh, sing with the Stockdale family and they are really good. <coughs> they are really talented people out there. So they're going to be out there, the Stockdale family band. And we're going to raise money for for Right to Life too, and but also for Bella, the Women's Center up there. And so I can't really do too much on there because they're kind of like an undercover woman center. Bella, what happens when you you go up on the internet when these girls are looking to kill their babies and they put in abortion, Bella's one of the first names that comes up. And they don't they don't come across as a crisis pregnancy center. Uh, they come across as to tell you about, to explain all the, the procedure. So when these girls go in to these bloody abortions, and, and to Bella, they actually get the truth. They find out, <laughs> find out what can happen to them. Okay, they find out how many of these girls die from these. How they have such a uh, rate of suicide seven times, six to seven times higher than the normal. How they're involved in, you know, how their life, the fact that they can end up being drug addicts or alcoholics. 
all the good things that go along with killing your children. So, anyhow, and that's why they're very, very successful. In fact, they're about to open a new branch out here in Lake County. Uh, so, and that's what we'll be doing Saturday. And then we got March 8th, we got the tea party meeting. Okay. And, oh, you want to hear a good one? Those nutcases out there, we, got, we do have a name. And Judge Grindell is pretty hot about this. Uh, he's 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 working on it. He's going to catch catch him. But <coughs> the same night cases that that when they uh, broke into uh, our internet, our website, you know, for the, when we put out the announcements of the web, they hacked our website and they sent letters to everybody saying that we had canceled the Tea Party, we canceled and that. Well, those now guess what they've done? They sent out what is it on uh, Facebook? Apparently, yeah. yeah, on Facebook, uh, they've got, uh, they put out the the Jaw County Tea Party and the Lake County Liberty <coughs> Coalition uh, run a sex club. No. <laughs> and that, yeah, they put this, that we, they, we, we run it, and then they put that Kim Lorry, who's running for county commissioner, Kim's a very pretty woman, she's running for county commissioner, that she's, she's a sex nymph, and uh, that she's been... Uh, uh, going with with the uh, Skip Claypool, okay. and uh, you know when Skip's wife see that Skip, <laughs> but but anyhow, folks, these people are, are they are some strange people. I can tell you that out there, they are some very strange and sick people. So they need to repent. Huh? They need to be repent. Well, Tim Grindell wants to repent them. Yeah. Hey, Judge Grindell, he's, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's trying. He's hot on their trail. He catches them. He said they're going to jail. Okay. So. There's normally tracking left behind that, uh, you know, the hackers, uh, you know, expose themselves and they find out where it came from. Then you find out who did it. Yeah. If you know anything about proxy servers, it's very easy to change your proxy, but still, you can, uh, yeah, there's ways to find people. So. Okay. Mm. Well, with that, going to get started whenever you guys are ready. Good morning, doers of the word. We are coming to you folks out there on the radio today from Doers of the Word Baptist Church, 4781 Sperry Road, Newberry, Ohio. And our zip code is 44065. And it's nice to get a letter from you sometime if you're listening. You're listening to us this morning on the Liberty Works Radio Network. That is the Eagle 104.3 FM, the Eagle in Tampa and Ocala. And the title of the message this morning, by the way, I'm Pastor Ernie Sanders. The title of the message is, The Ways of the Wise Reject the Politically Correct, Simple Mind. Now the world, and all of its feeble-minded population, have a tendency to reject any and all things that, uh, well, that they perceive to be any kind of an absolute. There is a reason for this, and the denial of reasoning and truth provides an escape hatch out of their world of fantasy whenever they are <coughs> confronted with reality. Now this is clearly demonstrated today by what are being called safe space zones on many of our universities and college campuses. Uh, the intellectually simple minded are not capable of dealing with anything that directly or indirectly is contrary to their involuntary indoctrination by the mind of molesting Marxist beasts called professors. Now, some of you might say, well, boy, that's, you're a mean, mean man, Pastor, calling those professors beasts. Well, uh, no, and I'll tell you why, because I got it right from God's Word, the Bible, and that's where we turn today in Jude, chapter 1, in fact, and we start in verse 8. Likewise, all these filthy dreamers, now, now folks, listen to this very carefully because it describes what's going on. And think about this now with these, these college kids. Think about how pitiful it is, how really sorrowful it is that 
And again, and more and more, all of these late night comedians are making a living uh, laughing and, and making fun of the, well, the depravity of our college kids today. And what we read here is this. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. And I'm talking about the so-called professors. Yet Michael and the archangel when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, just not bring against him a rallying accusation, but said, The Lord rebuked thee. But these speak evil of things which they know not. But they but what they know naturally is brute beasts. And those things they corrupt themselves. And and that's exactly what they did. They're speaking evil continuously of God's word, the Bible, and they're biblically illiterate for the most part. <laughs> Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the way of the heir of Balaam, for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of court. Now these are all people who decided that uh, they were going to do things their way, and, and not God's way. These are spots in your face of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are, without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withereth, Without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming up their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied to these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. By the way, that was the oldest prophecy of a man in Scripture, five thousand year old prophecy. <coughs> To execute judgment upon all, to convince all that are ungodly among them of their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and all of their hard speeches with ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, their mouth speaking great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But, beloved, remember you the words which were spoken of the apostles and of our Lord Jesus Christ. How they told you that there would be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own lusts and godly. These, by they who separate themselves sensually, having not the Spirit. But you, beloved, be building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourself in love of God, looking for His mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And some of have compassion, making a difference, and others saved with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. And he's referring to by giving witness, by taking out the great commandment, carried out, as we're told, you can pull many out of the fire. God's words do not return void. Amen. Just because it may not appear at the moment <coughs> that they're bearing fruit doesn't mean that they won't. Right. And so, here, I want to take you over to Proverbs chapter 1. And in Proverbs chapter 1, starting with verse 20, verse 33. Wisdom crieth, she uttereth her voice in the street. You know, it's an interesting thing because uh, here wisdom's referred to through all this entire thing is a very wise woman. Of course, Solomon felt that his mother, Bathsheba, was a very wise woman. And it's says wisdom, and you know, today too, for some reason they use uh, women, you know, strange things are given the names of women. They're called her. Or the lady like ships, like great big ships, like battleships, okay, even even whales. You've heard the expression, thar she blows, right? And uh, I was thinking, I wonder why that is, why they always use uh, women when they name these ships, when they name, um, you know, cars often and all of that. And I come to the conclusion is that men usually give them the name. <coughs> and that's why they're named after women. So, there you go. I bet you wanted to know that coupon. 
<laughs> now you know. Now you know. Yeah, it's hurricanes too, yeah. <clears throat> Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse. In the openings of the gates in the city she uttereth her words, saying, and she's talking about in government and in the marketplace. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? <coughs> And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. You know, when I think about that, I, I think of people like that. Uh, uh, Bill Maher, uh, Bill Maher, to hear him uh, always mocking God, or uh, someone like a, that, so that Barry Lynn calls himself a reverend, he, uh, a reverend Bill Barry Lynn. Always mocking God. These people are fools. Now they're upright fools. And he says this, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. God will do that. God will do that. Amen. You know, why, why are people walking around today having professions of faith? Um, it's an interesting thing. Um, Donald Trump, for example, made the statement that he's he's never had to repent of anything for God. Never had to repent of any, any sins before God. But folks, you see, you can't get saved until you repent. The first thing you have to do is repent Amen. before you can be saved. And uh, I was reading about Job, you know, Job being an upright man and all his ways a righteous man. Uh, you know, he was talking about Job and, and, and Joseph, these men. And I'm reading that about Job, where it says, he's upright in all his ways. And I thought to myself, well, I can tell you, God, I have a friend that can find something wrong with him. <laughs> so the audience can't hear, they can't hear a, a point, okay. But my friend Steve could find one, but anyhow. Uh, and when, when you think about this, it says, Because I have called and you refused. I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But have set up not all my counsel and would have none of my reproof. Now, folks, that's the ultimate stupidity. That's the ultimate stupidity right there. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Do you understand? When you hear those words from God, do you understand the trouble you're in? You're in trouble, folks. They should call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they have hated knowledge, listen, for they have hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would have none of my counsel and dis despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearketh unto me shall dwell safely. And she'll be quiet from the fear of evil. Well, Amen. what is so very, very, very clearly evident is that the inability, in their own words, the mentally and morally challenged to take hold of common sense and reason. For example, many will, with every fiber of their being, rant, they rant and they rave and display hatred in this respect <coughs> with utmost contempt. And then, in a most pitiful and feeble-minded way, they will challenge the potentate. You know what potentate means? Potentate means that it is the ultimate, the absolute power and authority. And that's a word for that's a name for the Lord Jesus Christ. The Pope's only used once in the Bible. And I and I laugh when I see 
these these college kids and out there mocking now, uh, mocking God and challenging God. And you say, well, let's go to Isaiah chapter five. Now, in Isaiah chapter five, in that chapter, you got five woes are pronounced. Uh, in verse 8, verse 11, verse 18, verses 20 and 22. And uh, one of the, the emphasis in this chapter 2 is that strong drink, alcohol, strong drink, has a tendency to make people forget God. Well, that's not a good thing, folks. <coughs> Starting with verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, for the multitude dried up with thirst. The thirst is like it says in Joel. It's a thirst for the, for the knowledge and God, for understanding, but they don't have it. Yep. <laughs> Therefore hell hath enlarged herself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend unto it. And the main man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled, and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled, and the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. And God that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness. Then shall the lambs feed after their manner, and the waste places of the fat ones shall strangers eat. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity, and sin as it were with a cart rope. You say, Pastor, I've heard you preach on that message time and time again. There's a good reason for that. You see, uh, it's very, it works very well when you repeat something over and over for people until finally it sinks in. In other words, what, they're, what he's talking about is like today, when, when I gave testimony, I, brought, I thought this verse came to my mind down there when they said, well, if you are forced, in other words, by law, to do a sodomite marriage, uh, how would you do that? In other words, and I, and I thought, what kind of a ceremony, first of all, I said, first of all, I wouldn't do it. Amen. I would never do Amen. it. That's right. uh, but, uh, but, but I thought, and, and I told them when I answered, I said, I don't think they would like the ceremony <laughs> and uh, very much. And because it would go something like, uh, and we come before you today, before all of you and God. These two sodomites have come to parade their sin 